Ufafo TV. It's a pleasure. Thank you for hosting me. All right. So, so introduce pleasure. yourself, what you do, where you're from, etc. Uh, my name is Holly Honest. Um, I'm a musician. Bless you, camera. I'm a musician, an entrepreneur, and a volunteer, right. and also a community strategist. Okay. Yeah. Those are very heavy titles. Community <laughs> strategist, entrepreneur, still a musician as well. Yeah. How and do a you volunteer and a volunteer as well? Yeah. Congratulations for those. How do you it. actually put all of those things together and still be able to do music? Before we get to where are you from? Uh, uh you know, um, it uh, it's uh, it's um, it's uh, it's about me managing me myself and what I'm supposed to do as a man and as a person. Okay. So I get to do all this because I am able to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at what time do you get, you know, that cuz cuz I believe as a mu as a musician or yeah. as an artist, yeah. you are a, a creator. Yes. You're a creative yeah. in other words and uh, every every creative, you know, falls into that space where yes. you know, you're yeah. vulnerable enough to start writing. Yeah, yeah. You you're so creative. Mm -hmm. You know, personally I've interacted with people who like they just lock out, they shut out mm -hmm. everything and they get into that zone of, you know, writing <laughs> lyrics. Yeah. Is it something that has ever happened to you? Or for you, it just comes like a miracle and boom, mm -hmm. you have lyrics and then you're in studio. You know, since that I've already said that um, I'm into a lot of things, I get motivation from so many different things. So from the stories, from the places, from the people, uh, from the communities, from locations and areas where I always go, that is where I get those stories that I come to tell people. Okay. Yes. Um, before you came alive on air, you told me that, you know, you are originally from Uganda. Yes. And, uh, I think you have an interesting story about, you know, your background. Please uh, just tell us a little bit of that before uh, we get to the rest of the business. About my background. Right. Um, I'm an orphan. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm an orphan. I uh, was raised by... Okay, let's not go there. Now, be free, to, be free, be open to share. Because <laughs> this is your journey, this is your experience, bro. Yeah, I like, understand yeah. that. But mm. I don't really talk about it, actually. Why? Well, what makes you to not talk about it? Is it crazy? Is it hurtful? Is it painful? It is painful and hurtful. It's not crazy. Okay. Yes. So All right. So I don't really do talk about it a lot. Okay. And I actually do talk about it via my songs. Okay, you yeah. have kids? No, I do not have kids yet. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, but uh, I do have a family of people that I know close to me. Okay. Those are my colleagues, my friends. All right. Yeah, but I don't have a family, that initial family. So. All right. Yeah. Now, uh, because you're an artist and, you know, every, every artist needs support and I'm just trying to, you know, imagine <laughs> how do you actually, you know, choreograph yourself and package yourself to be this kind of an artist without, you know, a lot of support from, you know, mm. your background. Like, who are your main supporters as well? Okay, my first support is me, myself, and my, my last support is me, myself. Okay. And then whoever comes in, I always thank God, uh, you know, since that I was raised in, a, in, a, in an orphanage, I came to understand that in this world, first you have to push yourself before, then people will catch up from where you are. Right. That the moment where I am, at least I have a foundation. Okay. Where sometimes people see that, okay, um, let's, let's, um, let's dig in, let's contribute, let's do that. So um, I would say that I'm a, I am my first support and the last support. Yeah. Okay. At the moment where actually I don't, I'm an independent artist, uh -huh. so I do support my pro myself in all that I do. And then uh, other, fr I do have also friends sometimes who do contribute when it comes, actually in my community charity services. Okay. So my friends always participate. All right. Mm. I'm really interested to actually just get a little bit of that background story, like mm. from an orphanage in Uganda <laughs> to you know now Kenya like hey, I just want to know what happened in between here before you came to this <laughs> guy that you're here just a little brief of you know from 
Orphanage. That's an interesting story, really. Please uh, tell us. <laughs> Orphanage to now musician to now Uganda and uh, now in Kenya. Um, uh, when I turned 18, yes, I left Uganda and then I came here. Uh, I, I came here as an upcoming artist. When did you land in Kenya? Uh, it was in 2016. Mm -hmm. I started my career 2018, professionally 2019. I was discovered by a Kenyan legend. But before that, I was an underground rapper. And we used to, I used to actually battle in most of uh, uh, some of the community hub centers mm -hmm. I, I, around Dagoreti South in Rongai. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was discovered in Dagoreti. Okay. Yeah, by a Kenyan uh, musician who is a legend. Okay. He's called Filter from Wakimbizi family. All right, uh -huh. yeah. the Wakimbizi so family. I, I know that. Taking you back, right. um, um, as I've already said, that I'm an orphan, and then uh, 19, I left the orphanage. So <laughs> it's been not, it's been really tough. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't really talk about it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Because I, I wanted you to talk about it because, you know, um, yeah. a lot of us are usually ashamed to talk about, you know, our scars. And especially the boy child, like, nobody's open, nobody's vulnerable enough to, to tell their story. I struggled, mm -hmm. you know, I struggled to be an artist. Uh, we saw, but Joseph, there's, there's an artist in, in our country who, mm -hmm. who talked about, you know, when he was starting his career, he had a lot of, you know, rich friends who never supported his music or mm -hmm. played it on radio. But now he's made it, though. He's a household name in Kenya. So, mm -hmm. you know, just sharing your story and how, where you came from can inspire anyone like you out there watching. Now, away from that, I'm really also interested to understand, you know, like, where did you reach that point and choose, like, you know, I'm going to do Afrofusion because you mentioned it's Afrofusion and you've also mentioned that, you know, you used to do rap battles. Mm. That means you've done cyphers and mm. you're also, you know, attributing it to the Akimbizi family, which mm. is like a solidified music group in yeah. Kenya. Uh, how did you reach to that place and understand that, you know, for me as wholly honest? And also your name is interesting. We'll get that. <laughs> we'll get to that as well. Yeah. How did you reach to that point and say, this is me and this is my identity as an artist? Um... It is after when actually I found out that I am full of, um, I have, I am full of gifted uh, different ways on how I can tell stories. Okay. So when you look at the way the world is going, the way people are living, you get inspired in so many different ways. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I, I fused my category of music due to the fact that when you get from from Rwanda, when you get from TZ, when you get from Uganda and get from Kenya, right. you get only one soap. Very, okay. very delicious soap. So that soap it is what my music is. It's all about. Uh -huh. all about, you understand? So, me minge sema like, okiskiliza music yango. I didn't know you can speak so hilly. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Okay. <laughs> I do. Okay, skill is a music yango. Um, more of Uganda, more of Kenya, more of Rwanda, more of TZ, and right. Nigeria too. All right. So that is why I'm touching so many different stories so that I can inspire everybody. I don't categorize uh -huh. because people get inspired in so many different ways. Right. Yes. So you don't have like a specific genre of music. It's like freestyle, freestyle, uh, uh, you know, kind of music. I don't like specifying what I do. Uh -huh. You understand? Because the world that we are living in nowadays, you are seeing now uh, we are in a mainstream world. Uh -huh. You can jump on anything. Right. You can be inspired by anything and do it. Correct. Uh -huh. We are in the world where at least anything is possible. Yeah, you've been seeing how I'm a piano came and took over. We didn't know about it. How drill came and took over. We didn't know about it. Right. You understand? So if I wake up and I do a gospel song in a drill way. Okay. That is also inspirational. Okay. Yes. That's interesting because, you know, rarely do you just see, you know, someone who is <laughs> like everywhere or not everywhere, <laughs> like with so many inspiration. You know, it's about giving me a microphone and I show you what I can do. You okay. just give me a microphone, I yeah. need to hear the sound. 
please usiondoke kabla utajotembea <laughs> one of your favorites um. it's okay you, you right. know how to if you know how to create a sound it's okay we'll definitely, do that definitely <laughs> do that now let's get back to uh, to now uh, let's focus on your music mm -hmm. your first song what, your first song when was it out what was the name of the song you know wow. how was the writing process the inspiration wow. as well right now my first song it was very interesting that i was i remember it was actually a very surprising day nilikuwa tu mta hapo na beshte wangu um so huyu beshte wangu alikuwa connected na beshte wake of which happens to be filter so um say he came he passed by so alitupata tu ki freestyle hiyo okay. jioni so aka aka ka tu like kando akaniangalia so mimi sikuwa najua so we were freestyling playing beats playing instrumentals so after akakuja akaniweka kanda akaniambia ebu ni ebu imba venye liko na imba tena so akanyamaza akusema anything so later baadaye uh, sikuwa najua already ashapigia producer best yake akamwambia ah niko na mse fulani hapa naweza naonaje tukimu tukimu hai unaona ni venye tu by then i was sent really motivated sana mm. because i was still down so hiyo jioni wakaniambia tu ni ni wasindikize waende kaa ndani so tukifika kaa ndani kumbe tunaenda studio so kuniingiza studio they wanted to test me i was freestyling on rap beats wakaniwekea afro beat <laughs> mm -hmm. so kuniwekea afro beat nika freestyle that was my first hit song. No, a hit song. I, yeah. I love the fact that you know you <laughs> gave it that gusto of this is my first hit song. Yeah. Uh, w which year was it? It was it, uh, it was uh, it was in in mid 2000 and it was 2018. No, uh, okay. between 2000 and katikati ya 2018 hapo. Yeah, tulikuwa tunaingia I think September hapo because it was officially released in November 2018 bombastic. Uh -huh. Yeah so we recorded that we actually recorded it sanane since that uh, kutoka hizo masaa tulikuwa tu you know hiyo studio hyping na una wasanii wengine kids pia ametembea studio ni yeah, this studio ilikuwa na it was spikes actually that is where i had a calligraph also started from oh wow okay yeah it is called spikes music it is located in um, kawendani i came to know that also calligraph started from that from with them so after that very moment i was put in a both yes it was it wasn't actually hard that very first take producer said it's enough right. so in the morning djs were coming and i was also touring the clubs in kandani okay <laughs> for the first time i didn't know anything right. yeah man it was like it was a very great adventure all right awesome yeah. Uh, you've mentioned Kenneth Calligraph Jones and, mm. uh, and, and you know, coming from yeah. that, you know, community yeah. of very, you know, uh, strong, strong rappers, as I'll call them conscious rappers or unconscious, <laughs> whatever it is, you know, coming from that, you know, community of such inspiration and grounding, mm. it means you have a bright future, you know, in the industry and we wish you the best of luck. Now, I away from that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Because, uh, right. you know, after when I came to, actually, by the time I, I released that song and then I stayed at that studio, so that I think the reason why they wanted me to start that studio is to be motivated uh -huh. because I have lived in a world that I was very lonely. Right. Yes, I had songs. I could actually freestyle, write songs in my box and all that. I had them in my head, but I think they kept me at that studio so that I can be able to see other musicians, what they do. Right. Yeah, because I got so many inspired by the way things okay. are going and i got to tell a lot of stories because from that studio i think i was able to write a, a album right yeah interesting because you're also you know referencing to loneliness and you know the background yes. of being an orphan because you know mm. rarely do you get you know somebody who comes from a very you know not so good background with so much you know enthusiasm and you know positivity like you are mm. now uh, how many tracks do you got like right, right now that like you would say that are already on on mainstream platforms uh oh my god i don't know how many songs I released my album 2019, my first album officially 2019. With how many tracks? It was 33 tracks. I released okay. my second album in 2021. 
Uh, but before I released my album, I had released a reggae EP. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, and then um, in 2022, January, I released uh, my first mixtape uh, with Rajiv the DJ. All yeah, right. big up. I respect DJs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in 2000, when I released my first album, I started at Moy Avenue, distribution, you know, club to club. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. With different DJs. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, so you've mentioned a mixtape, you mentioned reggae, because now I, I'd really like to know, like, which <laughs> side do you gravitate a lot? Like, if we had to listen to your music right now, uh, which side do you gravitate towards to the most? Is it the reggae side? Is it the R&B side? The trap side? The hip hop? Um, I, I would say that um, reggae and Afro pop, uh, I mean Afro dancer. Reggae yeah. Afro Dancer, Afro -dancer because my latest album it is Afro Dancer actually. Okay. Yes, but my first album, since that it was my first time to get that feeling, that vibe, you know. So I could just tell a story, you know. Yeah. No matter how I feel, no matter how I just uh, turn the studio on, turn the studio on, you know. Right. Uh -huh. So I really it was reggae, it was dancehall, it was genge. <laughs> uh -huh. Because I also featured so many different uh, appraising artists. Yeah, so it was full of so many different stories. But this one, specific, the current one, it's specifically to Africa. What is the name of the album? Uh, the first one, it is called State of the Art. Okay. Sota. That is why actually I named it State of the Art because it was so many different mm -hmm. categories. And then oh, okay. um, the second one, it is called The Beginning. Uh -huh. hey. State of the art, the, the beginning. beginning. Do they uh, have meaning, those words? Yes, yes, of course. Uh -huh. The beginning? The beginning, it, uh, it is after actually what I went through in 2022. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, after the concert that I had actually happened to go and then the, the scandals and what happened after. What, was the, what were the scandals? Hey. <laughs> Please tell us, man. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly happened? You know, uh, you know, it's um, the knife face. I don't really remember this. Yeah, yeah I knife remember face. knife face. Too. Yeah, you know, yeah, a lot, a lot already happened. Understand? Uh -huh. But me personally, I was going through a lot of my personal, or personal uh, challenges. Issues. Uh -huh. yeah. Regarding finances, production, uh, distribution. Regarding finances, production, the release of my, my album, um, my second album. Okay. And also uh, depression, you know. Mm. Yeah, so I went through a lot. Actually, I was admitted in, not the, in the hospital. So sorry for, for depression, that. you know. Man. I was the ad the depression. I was admitted. Only you know? <laughs> sana, bro. Because, you know, um, I, I love the fact that you're honest about that because a lot of yeah. people would hide so many things. No, no, no. I don't hide. Just, you know, I don't hide. Why this, should I hide? This perfect image, like, mm. you know, I'm an artist and I have it all. The only thing I feel, I feel hard to tell. Uh huh. Uh, because uh, I'm t I was like I, I, I got tired of crying. It is uh, me uh, my personal situation right. being an orphan and how I was raised. But right. when it comes to my health, when it comes to my fitness, when right. it comes to my lifestyle, I tell you know because I know that the same way maybe some people are out there when it right. appear the same situation. Maybe somehow somewhere I can get a friend who be like right. we are in this together, you know. All right, and, and, and if you, you've actually reminded me something. Yesterday, I'm in a group of voiceover artists who are from Kenya, Uganda, and USA. Oh, wow, and, that's uh, nice. we, 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 Yes, and we talk about mostly, you know, some of the issues that, you know, uh, especially young young media personality experience in the mainstream space, and there's somebody who came and talked about, you know, how when the COVID-19 pandemic came, they were laid off from a TV gig they had outside country, and they mm. had to actually go through a very bad depression. Mm. And then when they were trying to actually recover, and this was a boy child, mm. while they were trying to recover, Cover, they were feeling a little bit shameful, there was no support, and things are very murky. So, I love the fact that you know, I, I feel like your story is related to that kind of guy. And rarely do we get you know, men opening up about you know, issues that are festering them in their personal lives as well. You mentioned you cry because you know, when you when somebody hears the man is crying, they'll be like, Bro, why are you you're a man and you're crying, forgetting that you're a human being? And I can only imagine, you know, you're an orphan mm. and you have all this positive energy, it's yeah. just super amazing and a blessing to you yeah. as well. Yeah, right. man, you know, most people don't understand that it's okay for a man to cry uh -huh. because, um, 
we are not metals, we are human beings, and there is no difference between me and, uh, and uh, that person who is saying that, oh, you are a man, you're not supposed to cry. Because even what makes lions to be lions is because they show their fear. You right. understand? Yes, there is, right. when, you, when a lion shows its fear, right. you already see how it expresses itself. Right. You understand? It has to roar. It right. do, lion doesn't roar just because it wants to scare you. Right. You understand what I'm saying? It roars because there is something that is triggering inside. Okay. Should I attack or I just, you know, back right. far, back, back, I, I just lay low. So it is okay for a man to cry. And right. for those maybe who say you are a man, you're not supposed to cry, maybe they have not gone exactly what you have gone through. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it is okay uh -huh. for a man to cry. And it is okay, okay for a man to seek help. Right. Yeah, because at the moment where we are living in a world that is really crazy, All right. we need each other. Absolutely. Yes. It doesn't Absolutely. matter where, where, come away ni manaume, come away ni msichana. We all need each other. We all Absolutely. need somebody to lean on. That's what the singer said. Right. Yes. And I agree with you 100%. Mm -hmm. um, let's come back to music. Um, in terms of distribution and airplay in Kenya, would you say you've, you've heard enough airplay? And even in terms of bookings <laughs> and gigs? And, and, and if yes, um, where, are, where are the places that you know you've been played mostly? And if not, where are the, some of the platforms that you wish they'd play you as well? Well, initially, it's been me playing my own music. <laughs> Yeah. Because Kenyans, to see you, to know you, All right. East Africans, to see you, to know you, nowadays, right. uh -huh. it is not easy. Uh -huh. so, so what is the strategy that you've got maybe to give you a breakthrough? My strategy that mm. actually I picked, it is from the way back in uh -huh. 2005, 2019, when you used to release a song, you go get Bana CD, you hook it around. That was my first strategy in 2019. Uh -huh. So together did with it my, work? Did it people? worked. Together nice. with my DJ Totofis and the DJ Baisa, we, walked, we used to walk in every club, actually. And then by then, I met the other people who were in, in the world of creative. So there is, um, I met Raquel. Uh, we used to... Come on, Kumpukaizo Club, the Moy Avenue Club Rumors, Sevens, Club Edge, Club Spring. These are clubs in Yazilko Up, Zote, Izo 64, Florida. These are clubs, Zote Zakitambo, where we used to. That is where I used to go. I beg a DJ play my music. I stay there from Saine up to Sanane. Lazima, something my uncle. I understand. So and you then, had it in a flash disk? Or yes, a, I could a actually ban uh, or or CD nyimbo, nyimbo ine, Okay. Top of my four, my four top songs. Right. Then I peleka na pe DJ. Uh -huh. Actually na mm -hmm. Maybe I make sure that you know no soda. But ni kaapo. I understand what I'm saying. Uh -huh. So then pia nilikuwa na tuanga flash disk naenda na sample ya basi wa matatu basi wa matatu za mmoja basi wa matatu za actually matatu za ronga hizo manzi big up matatu za ronga so hiyo mix ya ronga manzi mecheza mziki angu sana so I used to go na manzi please I'm begging you ok unaenda hivi at least hata wakisikiza tu one second ni saa so that is how so that is how I actually that is how I have been managing even to get money from because I don't, I don't work. Okay. My, my work is music. I don't have, like, when you want to do your profession, a, a nine is, to what, five, my profession me, me, me. is music. Uh -huh. So I started selling my music that way. Okay. So I started selling my music that way. So I started selling my music that way. So through that, that is how I managed. Yeah, yeah. but now in the mainstream world. Uh, in terms of radio, TV. Radio, TVs. Oh, it, um. It's, it's, it has not yet been, I have not been able to kupata your chance juu ya manzee lazima, lazima utuweka kitu wapa ndani Kenya, man. Ata even if you have a hit song, even if you, you have a, a record song, because hapa Kenya, they, they don't see a record and also they don't see a hit song. Okay. Wanachagua tu kila song ni song. 
Alright. But ukienda huku juu they chagua record a record uh -huh. and a hit song. Alright. So most song hood most songs zenye zina make records ndio naona hizo songs zina pewanga plaques. Right. You know like you see them nominated nini nini but hit songs ni they mean that, 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 that have broke uh, broke records like zimeenda uh, zina play on a sikiza hiyo ngoma kila kila siku. In short it's on rotation. Yeah so everywhere. at the moment uh -huh. I'm trying to enter the music business world. Okay. But uh -huh. before nilikuwa music industry <laughs> Interesting, because I even don't know the difference between the music world and the industry. Kuna now. difference, Sai. Uh -huh. Since that, to, we were, you know, when we were attacked by a piano and drill, uh -huh. music business in Kenya, Sai at least imeanza ku. But before, upper Kenya and East Africa, tulikuwa kwa music industry. Okay. Eh. Interesting. Yeah, because music industry, uh -huh. najui ni yele, ona industry studio, na fayangomo, na kapo studio, awe ni msani. All right. But All music right. business is mm -hmm. a song, you have a strategy, you have a team, right. the song is already on retortion, right. you're already doing tour, right. you're already booking shows, you have right. people who are running things for you and you too you are running things for yourself. For yourself, uh -huh. Yeah, that is what is available at the moment in the industry now. Interesting, but have you made use of the digital platforms in terms of Deezer, iTunes, Spotify and the rest? Uh, since that I'm an independent artist, of course I'm trying. But at the moment, I look forward uh, to, I look forward for greatness. I look uh -huh. forward for partnership. I look forward for collaboration. I look, I look forward for, for funds. I look forward for collaborations from so many different aspects of the world and music business people. At the moment, where actually I am, I I look forward for a hand. You know, two hands are better than one. And, uh, okay. For these years that I've been doing music. Okay. I've reached at a moment where I'm like, oh God, I've done enough, man. Nataka pia ni? Nataka mtu wa kupush. At least mtu wa kuja seme, you know what, I see this is where you need to go so that you can achieve this, yeah. Exactly, because, the I'm lacking now. because, you know, the digital platforms, like, right now everything is heading digital. Yeah. And in the next three, four, five years even, we might not even be doing this kind of TV. It will all be mm -hmm. digital. Even artists, for you to be played, you have to, first of all, break you know social media you know that the biggest stars have been discovered on digital so i hope you'll also take that direction because it's not going to be easy though i don't think i don't think i don't really agree with you uh -huh. because look we are not going to fly from the from earth we go to to mars you understand the way when you turn on again you come out to talk about immediate sunday mars now okay look um Things will not yet still be the same, but still things will be the same. Yes, okay. technology will be around, but we have not. We don't need to forget that still. Lazima twende tuangalia wa itu faifon dia TV. No. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? It's not about that. Lazima ntaenda sidi. It's not about that. Nisahau remote yangu. Okay. Lazima nishike yo remote niweke Y254 on the STV niangalie show yako ya wa in the morning. You understand okay. what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. it's just that um, things are really... Uh, ni, t we are in the world where like, tu, kila kitu, ni, vitu ni mingi. Masani mm. masa, 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 <laughs> masa, masa, <laughs> But uh -huh. realistically. Okay. Aja ni usha poteza simu. Okay. Usha poteza simu, sindio? Aha. Uh -huh. Your time when you put it as you want to feel like, like mm. initially, how do you feel? Right, you're distressed. You know? No, you are not distressed. You're distressed. You are where you are supposed to be. Really? Yes. That's because the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> but I love, I, I love your perspective because you know, even if people want to accept your music, what I'm trying to show you is that it's not out. about it, it's it's not going to be all about internet. Okay. In reality. People have to live. People okay. have to move with the way they're supposed to live. Because okipoteza simu kirudi nyumbani. Okay. You feel a very different world. Okay. You understand? Okitoka online okienda offline. It's a different mm -hmm. world. So it's just we need to differentiate, uh, differentiate between right. online world and offline world. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I respect that. I because the offline world, it is you. Mm -hmm. 
And then the online world, it is where you see now everything that you want to see. Okay. Eh, but mimi bado ntarudi nishike remote yangu, niweke mm. niweke pale chano yangu ya Y254. Amen. Kwa DSTV, nisikiza mziki. Please Man, don't stop. Skidizo, no. Please don't stop. Mm. Now, in terms of music, if people <laughs> want to access your music, I thought they should access it on YouTube and the other platforms. So, if people want to access your music, where can they exactly find right it? Now, before you sing it, before you sing, Komoko, you're supposed to sing. Yeah, it's so, all right. So <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Uh, right now, my music is on YouTube. That is why you can find my music. And also, I, have, I had uploaded my album on SoundCloud. But since that... Uh, and at the moment where I am, and I'm looking forward to enter the music business world. Okay. At least I get be able to partner, collaborate, and right. also get funding, okay. maybe labels, and also individuals when you're on our weather. So I hopefully that my music will be all over the world, worldwide, okay. maybe 2023. Okay, and amen. Because I look forward to tour also. To have tours, right? Yeah, I look forward to have tours. Right. Yeah, so it will be, Hopefully, by 2023, yeah. it will be all over. Amen. But currently on YouTube and SoundCloud, Holy Honest. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Holy Honest, uh, we were actually, you were to tell us, what, how did you actually come up with that name? Holy Honest, you know? Well. Does it have <laughs> meaning? Does it mean something? Yeah, it means something. You know, every finish line, is a beginning of a new race. Oh, there you go. When <laughs> Lil Wayne. <laughs> when when I was uh, when I was young, uh -huh. I happened to be this person who was actually favored. Yeah. Uh -huh. And through the survival, I make a favored son. Yeah. Make a favored son by guy. Mm -hmm. So, kunau this mama that looked after me. Uh -huh. Then sh she used to say, whenever I used to, I used actually to cheerlead, I used to, I used, I used to be everywhere. Then she used to say, I, you are so holy. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, so whenever, whatever that used to happen, I used to be, to tell people, like, naongea tu kweli, kitu ki hape ni nakuja tu nasema kweli, imeenda hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi. So that is how I got my name. So I'm uh, honest. You are very honest. You are so holy. So when I, when I, re I reflected on that story after when I grew up and I was like, hey, okay. So I started now drawing like, how do I phrase this? I can't in that story. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Now, your real names, your ID real names my are? <laughs> For that one next time. <laughs> Please tell us, bro. Tell, yeah, tell for us that one next lives. time. Why not? Why, 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 why are you so scared to, tell, to say the, your real People life? love to listen to my music. By the way, most people want to know Holy Honest. They need to listen to my music. They okay. need to listen, actually, most especially my second album, okay. The Beginning. I spoke a lot about myself. I spoke a lot about what was happening in politics. I spoke okay. a lot about what was happening this in the music year or industry. last year? Huh? Uh, happening in politics last year, this year last, last year, year and this okay. year because i released okay. it into uh, 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 i released it officially in june this right. year so i've spoken a lot about politics music business lifestyle and all that i've really told really people need to listen to that album it's amazing okay mm. so who are some of the people who are looking forward to to collaborate in the industry or maybe they're watching right now and uh, you can tell them hey please come collaborate with me uh, for those that i have categorized with and those that i have now in your nisha fanya now kibiashara on stage uh, we've been happening on stage together uh, in the gengeton world of course i look forward to work with major because uh -huh. that 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 man man mm -hmm. I, I i look for i i always look at him uh -huh. when it comes to storytelling mta right major he's right. very good on storytelling uh -huh. so i always look for i look i look up to him sana na, and i'm respect sana okay yeah nisha actually i have categorized for him then maybe he came late to perform nani majaribu commit sija meet bado but i know I look forward to that in future. Okay. But in Mr. Mzuri Sana. Uh -huh. Then I look forward to work with uh, with Arrow Boy. 
na yeah. pia na uh, na wife wake Nadia Mkami. Nadia Mkami. Yeah. I look forward to that because they are also a good duo. Um I look forward to work with um I look forward to work with uh, this Reckless. Yes, we have the same vibe. Okay. Yes, and also um I look forward to work with um I look forward to work with um 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 this guy, this guy is a dancehall artist. It's a dancehall artist, this guy. Uh he's called Red Sun. Right. So you are by the way. But I'm put here sana Okay. I want me your mother sana. Yeah. Uh -huh. The, the Naziz Wairi, you know, that dance uh -huh. all, you know. Uh -huh. yes. Those are legends Faith in that genre, you know. right? Yeah, you know, I've been trying to push her for dance all in Kenya, uh, okay. even Kutokamta, but our two Manzewana, <laughs> they lay me down for real. Say, I do not dance all up Kenya. It's like in Mimi, say, Nico, and I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. But I would love to see them still raising that, like raising that flag of Kenyan dance all, you know. Okay. Yeah, but I look forward to, you know, on a Sijuna Kumbuka, that is African bashment right, vibe. Uh -huh. now, now, vibe yeah, yeah, man, red, red song. that was the yeah. real vibe in the in the industry. But right. Sai, Manze, Sijui wanafanya nini, but they need to really work on music. All right. Yeah, so I look forward to, to at least be part of their of their life. Nijue venye naza, you know, blend, right. you know, I, so that I can be great. Okay. Now, here I look forward to work with Willie Paul. Willie Paul. Okay. <laughs> now, as a new wengi, as a new wengi, ni make a tenorize. As a new wengi. Right. Calligraph Pia is a great artist. Yeah, I've been looking forward to meet him. You know. Okay. Yeah. Now, here I work with El Kamondi. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Artists wengi sana, wengi sana, wengi sana. I would love to work with because okay, Angalia, even Nigeria that artists make it, they collaborate. They all come together, share one meal. Right. And that's how it is in TZ, that's how it is in Uganda. Right. But I look forward to collaborate with any artist that say, my holy homies, let's go to studio in Sawa. Okay. Yeah, to tafanya kazi. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think is the biggest obstacle in the Kenyan music industry that that you'd say at a when they may fire your level. What would you say is the biggest obstacle? The biggest obstacle is government. <laughs> really? Okay. When I do, uh, How is that? Um I'm sorry to say but government is a person who doesn't practice what they preach in reality. What do you mean, bro? On a hundred percent, I'm sorry, I'm not disrespectful, but I'm being honest <coughs> because that is why this is why I am. Okay. I mean, is it to most of the representatives wanna talk wanna ongea? Kufraisha camera. Our fraishi muta konyuma camera. Wana fraisha camera. Alright. But in reality, they are not doing anything. Okiangalia in Nigeria, people come together, they are in music business. Okiangalia TZ, you have seen what is going on. Okiangalia Uganda. In Uganda, what government did for artists, actually they had to fight a lot. Government said, Mwende Mujipange in groups have that organization. Mukuje. But Hapa Kenya, in 2020, actually in 2019, I became an eye in the community for play Kenyan music. After when I came up with a, a group of so many different upcoming artists, Mta, na in the future now kwa kwa yangu. So there is this thing that was going on play Kenyan music after when yo, after when. Uh, uh, my piano na Afro pop imeingia sana imeua gengeton and then gengeton artist tuna complain no right. so we were like oh play Kenyan music oh, play Kenyan music so after performing after your show concert here gengeton festival when you and after when we didn't get paid and all that there was a lot of commotion so nika toka nika say okay nika organize was in Cambia okay let us at least write a letter we send it to maybe to tafte mtu mwenye but sasa pia na mtu mwenye tuna tulipea 
nili reach out but pia na yeye anatafuta you know to maintain his character to maintain his fame and all that so what when you are kufanya ikitu they are not doing anything ikitu ndo si ele as what do you mean do you mean like the government should help representatives what when you are jiweka huko that they are representatives but initially of they are not or the music for the artists okay. and also for the music itself they are okay. no, they have not yet done anything to show that they ha- they have they have okay wanaanza kuona work plan let's say music uh, committees is right. any uh, mm-hmm. music uh, mm-hmm. organization music cooperative society of kenya Co- right. uh-huh. yes most especially you by the way uh, Okay. Killer story in Atoka. Sorry, I'll have to cut no, you short. No. Uh, we are out of time. I Please know. sing for us your favorite song uh, <laughs> in your album. Just uh, okay. Two, two just lines. just to just kusema tu. I just need like people to really understand that the world have changed now. Right. That's it's about camera. coming together okay. to show the government that this is what we have. Okay. Please do something about us. Okay. And people who are out there that are showing they are representative of artists. And right. if they are not please you need to stop you need to come on the, on the board we organize ourselves ndio twende mr ruto atusaidie so <laughs> sing for us your favorite music the message is home now <laughs> yes so my favorite uh, i don't really have favorites all my music all my songs they are favorite okay they any favorite. please any cuz we are out of time <laughs> Uh, maybe my fa- um, I will sing just my first like. song bombastic. Yeah, please do. Just a free song. She's so bombastic. Aha, uh-huh, bomba. Oh, eh, oh, she's so fantastic. Aha, uh-huh, bomba. Oh, eh, oh, but she's so romantic. Aha, uh-huh, bomba. I read them. Oh, eh, oh, and I'm the one chick man. Aha, ah. Oh, eh, oh, I wanna see you balance. A balance. A balance, balance, balance. A balance. A balance. A balance, balance. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, eh, oh. Yeah. More wow. on YouTube. <laughs> right. Uh, speaking of YouTube, where can people find your music? We are out of time, Kabisa. Social media um, platforms. My social else. media platforms on Instagram, I'm Holy Honest, fan page Holy Honest, and also my official account is Holy Honest. Holy underscore Holy Honest. Holy underscore Honest. So, and then on YouTube, I'm Holy Honest. On Facebook, I'm Prince Holy Honest. That's my page. And right. then on SoundCloud, I am Holy Honest. But mostly, I always uh re- recommend face, uh, instagram and uh, and uh, and the youtube because that is where i'm active right mm. Mm. thank you so much for coming through and uh, sharing i appreciate it i appreciate it see see what you pick up was on our white face for say you man say ah your fans <laughs> yeah man say my fans thank you sana thanks for watching white face for in the morning um wasi wangu wa rongai manzee wasi wangu wa CBD all the Ugandans hapo CBD wafanyikazi wa Kenya wote manzee na shukuru asante sana Tina Brown manzee asante sana uh, DJ Baisa Regis DJ Toto Face um wasi wa Dubai actually they are tuned in uh, UK Raymond they are tuned in Indian and USA asante sana for watching and all the guys that I've been working with musically my producers producer Kenny Spikes Music now for my Birmingham music asante sana and everyone who is watching salute thank you for supporting Kenyan music manzem to support we have what it takes we can really really make it big in this music business and music industry and make and make records and bring music awards grammys and all that amen yeah man yeah, yeah man thank you so mm-hmm. much uh, mm-hmm. for coming through uh, that has been Sandy holy Sandy honest Sandy. you know sharing about his journey in music trials mm-hmm. and triumphs and i'm i'm pretty sure if you're watching you have been inspired in one way or another we take a break we're back with much more still on the hashtag thursday vibes <laughs>